In the heart of Ghana's eastern region, on a day that promised progress and growth, President Nana Addo Dankwa Akufo Addo stood before an eager audience at Bunso. It was the 22nd of May, 2022, a day that would mark a pivotal step in Ghana's journey toward educational and technological advancement. Clad in his characteristic suit, President Akufo Addo cut the sod for a grand and ambitious project. The University of Engineering and Agricultural Sciences, ES. This was not just another building, it was a promise to the youth, a symbol of Ghana's forward-looking ambition, and a testament to the fruitful partnership between Ghana and the Republic of Korea. Quick reminder for those who haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so to stay updated on such insightful content and help us reach our goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of this month. Your support means a lot. The project, estimated at a substantial cost of $90 million, is funded by the Export-Import Bank of Korea and the Economic Development Cooperation Fund, EDCF, of the Republic of Korea. These funds were not just numbers on paper, they represented a shared vision, one that spanned oceans and united two nations in a common cause, to enhance the future of education, engineering, and agricultural sciences in Ghana. From the moment the project was conceived, it was clear that it would be a monumental endeavor, one meant to be completed in two years, setting the ambitious timeline for its inauguration at the end of 2024. As the final year of construction dawned, progress was evident. By this point, the university had reached an impressive 75% completion stage. The skeleton of the institution was no longer a vision sketched on architectural paper. It had come alive. The lecture halls and classrooms were ready, standing tall and prepared to host the first wave of students, who would soon fill these spaces with the sounds of learning and discovery. Uh, for anyone standing on the grounds of UES today, the anticipation was palpable. The walls that echoed with the hammering of nails and the rhythmic steps of construction workers were preparing to tell stories of perseverance, ambition, and the unyielding pursuit of excellence. However, there remained the final push. The last 25% of the project involved critical elements that would transform the university from a construction site into a fully functional academic institution. The roofing of several blocks was underway, the finishing touches that would ensure both beauty and durability. The paved walkways, essential for maintaining cleanliness and ease of movement on campus, were being laid out, carefully crafted, to keep the environment pristine and dust-free. Installation of electricity and essential electric gadgets was underway to create a seamless learning experience for students and faculty. The heart of modern education lies not just in physical structures, but in the invisible network of technology that powers knowledge sharing, research, and innovation. This technology would soon pulse through the veins of UEAS, empowering educators and students alike to engage in practical, hands-on learning experiences. The vision extended beyond the classrooms and lecture halls. There were already discussions and plans in place for an on-campus hostel, a crucial element that would provide students with a space to rest, learn, and grow. The hostel would ease the burden on students who might otherwise have struggled with accommodation far from campus. It would create a nurturing environment where ideas would be exchanged over shared meals, friendships would be forged in late night study sessions, and the future of Ghana's workforce would be molded in a space designed for comfort and convenience. Why, some might ask, would a country pour so much into an institution dedicated to engineering and agricultural sciences? The answer is deeply embedded in the fabric of our times. In an era where global progress hinges largely on science and technology, Ghana understands the necessity of investing in the fields that will secure its future. From the management and conservation of natural resources to advances in energy, industry, agriculture, and medicine, every aspect of development ties back to robust scientific and engineering education. Clean air, clean water, sustainable transportation, effective sanitation. These are not just lofty goals, but essentials that a university like UEAS aims to address through the training of a new generation of experts. This university, therefore, is more than a collection of buildings. It is an incubator of potential, a crucible where young minds will be shaped into problem solvers and innovators. 
It is a beacon that signals Ghana's commitment to nurturing talent within its borders, providing the tools needed to tackle both current and future challenges. In recent years, Ghana has taken deliberate strides to bolster education in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics (STEM). Various programs and initiatives over the past five years have been launched with the goal of increasing access to STEM education. This move aligns with the nation's aim of achieving a 60 to 40 ratio between science and humanities, a balance that will drive the critical mass needed for science-related professions. Ghana's aspirations do not end with filling classrooms with students. It is about creating a workforce equipped, equipped to innovate and compete globally. The youth, who have already shown promise through STEM education, now have a tangible pathway to continue their studies in a practical and focused environment. With UAS soon joining the ranks as the second public university in the Eastern region, following the University of Environment and Sustainable Development at Samanya, the opportunities for students to pursue higher education in specialized fields will expand exponentially. The collaboration with South Korea underscores an essential aspect of this project. It is not just a local effort, but an international partnership that seeks to blend knowledge, expertise, and experience. The relationship between Ghana and South Korea is rooted in mutual respect and shared ambition. By funding a project of this magnitude, South Korea has shown its commitment to fostering not only educational opportunities, but also deepening the ties between the two nations. This partnership goes beyond financial investment. It paves the way for academic exchange programs where students and faculty from UAS could collaborate and share insights with their counterparts in South Korea. Such exchanges will foster a flow of ideas and practices, enriching the learning experience and creating a truly global academic community. As the clock counts down to the completion of the university, the anticipation builds not just in the Eastern region, but across the country. For President Akufo Addo, the project symbolizes more than the creation of a new institution. It embodies a vision for Ghana's future. A future where young minds can aspire to learn and grow in state-of-the-art facilities where their talents can be honed to contribute meaningfully to national and global development. This university stands as a beacon of hope for parents who want to see their children achieve greater heights for students who dream of careers that push the boundaries of innovation, and for a nation that recognizes that the prosperity is paved with knowledge. The university's construction at 75% completion already speaks volumes about the dedication of those involved. Every brick laid, every beam lifted into place, every circuit wired is part of a broader narrative, one that weaves together ambition, collaboration, and the promise of a brighter future. The work that remains, roofing, the final touches on classrooms, the laying of pavements, and the installation of electrical systems represents the final stretch in this ambitious project. The completion of these tasks will herald the birth of a university ready to welcome students into a world of practical learning and cutting edge research. Looking forward, the university's impact will in the heart of Ghana's eastern region on a if today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to the channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.